How's it going, everybody? I am Josh, KI6NAZ, and we're listening to affectionately what we're now calling the Cuban Rum Runner, which is basically a, a, a mock name of what was called the Russian Woodpecker back in the day. What's this all about? We're going to talk about it right now on the Ham Radio Crash Course. So starting this past weekend, protests kicked off in Cuba. There are people that are very upset about the support that the government is giving them. Now, I'm not going to get political about this, but something that's been happening and, and been ongoing is that amateur radio operators get on 40 meters and they talk to Cuban Americans and, and other people in America, and they've been talking about the government. Well, somebody doesn't like this, and they've been creating this pretty strong interference. Right now, it's, it's over S9, and I actually have... Um, RF gain turned on to, to bring some attenuation into this to, to lower the signal strength. But but you can see it's very pronounced, these vertical lines. And it covers a lot of the extra portion of 40 meters. I won't assume politically what's going on, but the assumption, at least from the people that have reached out to me, Cuban Americans in Miami and other places in the States, have reached out saying, this is the Cuban government, and they're specifically creating this jamming with very, very powerful transmitters to prevent Cuban nationals from talking outside of the country. So much so that these slices here that you can see, they seem to be frequency agile, and they will actually move these little jamming slices over transmitters in Cuba. So anybody who gets on their transmitter and starts talking to people in the States, for instance, they'll move the jamming right on top of it to prevent them from communicating. And it, it does. It's extremely powerful, and it's very hard to copy anything. Well, I was interested in where this noise was coming from, and today I'm going to show you how to do it. So here is Kiwi SDR. It's an SDR that we've talked about in the past. This is a web-enabled SDR, and there are SDRs like this all over the world. What's really cool about Kiwi SDR is we can use something, an algorithm that uh, was created, I think, in the community or actually within the company called TDOA. And it allows us to select up to seven SDR receivers to do direction finding. Yeah, triangulation of RF via the SDRs looking at a specific particular frequency. In this case, I'm looking at 7.136 megahertz on lower sideband. You can actually see as, as I've been recording, the intensity of these slices is getting stronger. The red is showing you points of high intensity. Well, let's flip it over to TDOA. I'll show you how to use it and to select other SDRs that you can use to triangulate the location of where the signal is coming from. So here's a really good uh, CMDX group in Brazil. This is a really good SDR. So if you're interested in uh, trying this out for yourself, you might want to start with this group and just bring up the frequency, which is uh, 7.136. And we're going to go to TDOA on the right-hand side. Now we just need to pick other SDRs that we want to use. I'm going to go ahead and mute this so I don't drive myself crazy because it's, it's quite annoying. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick the uh, Bon Air station, which I know can, can get it really well. It also hears very loudly. We're going to pick uh, this station N5FOG. We're going to go to Virginia, and we're going to pick KT4RS. We're going to go up to Ohio, around Ohio, and there is an AN80MD. Uh, over around in the New York area. Where is it? KF2DA. All right, so that's good enough to get started. We're going to click left button that says submit, lower left-hand corner. Sample, sample, sample. It's capturing the uh, I.O. data, basically, that's coming off of the SDRs. It's going to take a long audio sample, and then it's going to run a processing algorithm against it. Now, I picked the Brazil station first. I've had a quirky time with this Brazil station if I just add it as another station that can hear like on the, the left hand side list. So you may want to start with the Brazil station, run the processing. It's probably going to work better for you. And the algorithm is running for TDOA. Sometimes you'll get a false positive. So I'm going to drop this EN80. It's been kind of giving me uh, an issue. All right, so running the sample on N5FOG, TWR Bonaire, KF2DA, KT4RS, and we're obviously running out of this Brazil station for the direction finding. And there you go. It, so it, it displays where it thinks the intensities are on the signal. And you can see it's most intense <laughs> right by Cuba, oddly enough. So some um, geographic things were going to affect it possibly. 
in terms of its running its algorithm and as the bands change that will also affect it most likely looking at other images i've seen that it it definitely is most likely in and around that area likely very much uh, outside of cuba and you can see where we're right in there where exactly is it i don't know right these are sdrs that are separated by thousands of miles or over a thousand miles in some cases is this a method for determining where something is coming from absolutely and you can see actually my waterfall has changed just in my process of of making this video where s9 on my receive loop over s9 on my step ir running uh, the 40 meter dipole this is a fantastic thing to use if you are just interested in where a signal may be coming from. You can use this for number stations. You can use this for your favorite radio stations. You just have to know the frequency and use the SDRs to do that. Links are in the description so you can try out Kiwi SDR on your own. Highly recommended. Maybe even buy one yourself and set up a cool receiving station so that you can be a part of this TDOA direction finding algorithm thing that hams and anyone else can use for that matter again uh, sdrs are a great device for those that are getting interested in ham radio you're going to find a ton of fun getting out on them and listening for what's on the air so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it interesting maybe even helpful if you did give me a thumbs up i would appreciate it i'm josh ki6naz you've been watching the ham radio crash course and i'll talk to you later see ya